Hey everybody, it's Brandon. I got a request to test out FreeCAD on um, Chrome OS Flex, so we're going to do that right now. Now, like I said in a lot of these Linux application videos, before you can get this working, you have to get the Linux development environment up and running on your uh, Chrome OS Flex environment. So if you don't know how to do that, I made a video about it, which you can check out. Basically, you go into Settings, Advanced, Development, and Enable Linux. And on a lot of these Chrome OS Flex boxes, that still doesn't work uh, for some CPU types, so keep that in mind. But it looks like um, FreeCAD is just available in the regular repositories for Debian, which is what the uh, Linux on Chrome OS Flex is based on. So let's open the terminal. Let her boot up there. The first time you start up your computer, it always takes a while to get the Linux up and running, which is fine. Okay, so we're going. We're just going to type sudo apt install oops, no, freecad. Whoa, a lot of dependencies. Let's do it. It's going to take 793 megabytes. I had no idea if FreeCAD was so big. Well, it has a lot of requirements. But anyway, um, you can all install all sorts of stuff with the Linux development environment. You can see the kind of things I got. Uh, I have the LibreOffice there. Somebody wanted me to try this WPS Office. It worked good. I got Handbrake installed on here. Someone asked me to test that out, and it works. Um, did I click on that? Yeah, here we go. It's Handbrake. And I tried encoding something, and it worked. And Steam installs, but I haven't had any luck with any of the games, to be honest. I don't think this Chrome OS Flex is good for gaming. And this IO Riot, I installed this as a flat pack, but it won't boot. Actually, I've had no luck so far with flat packs. I feel like if I can get flat packs working, that opens up a whole huge variety of different things you can install. So that's still something I'm looking into. And if anyone else out there has gotten a flat pack working on Chrome OS Flex or regular Chrome OS, just let me know in the comments. What else do I got? Oh, yeah, FileZilla. That's important if you want to do web development on the Chrome OS here. You can do that. Okay. Probably don't need that open anymore. I really should install these before I start the videos so I don't have to sit around and wait. I'm making, I'm recording this video on Chrome OS Flex, which is why the recording software is not that good. Maybe there's a better one out there. I haven't found it yet. This is Asus laptop. It's uh, what LM or L210M, I think. It's a Intel Celeron slow processor, 4 gigs of RAM. And it originally had Windows 10 on it. It was slow. Got the upgrade to 11. It was slow. I decided, this sucks. I'm going to switch to Linux. Linux worked good on it, Fedora. But then I got an email from Google saying there's this Chrome OS Flex now. So I thought, well, shoot, maybe I'll try that out. And I installed that on here, and it runs even more smoothly than the Linux with an asterisk by it. If you're just doing the Chrome OS stuff, this one's super good. Really smooth, really performant. It can really bring an old laptop to life. If you're wanting to use it for the Linux applications, if you're going to get this and install a bunch of Linux stuff, uh, Linux apps work better on Linux than they do on Chrome OS Flex. That's for sure. So Now, if you do 95% web and there's just like one Linux program you need, then probably Chrome OS is going to work good for you. But if you're just going to use the Chrome browser and then a bunch of Linux apps, just install Linux. That's the way I look at it. And if you want to go that way, I suggest Fedora. That's what I use on my main workstation over there. But, I mean, any of them are good. I just have used Fedora for years, and I like it. 92% we're rolling. I feel like it's going to work. No hiccups yet. Uh, 
But anyway, I've been using this Chrome OS Flex on this laptop and an old MacBook Air for about a week, a little over a week now, week and a half maybe. And I love it on both of them. I'm This is definitely not going back to Windows. Okay, so we got that installed. Let's open it, see if it runs. This looks like it. Another thing, I noticed the Linux apps take a moment to load. Especially Handbrake took a while. Maybe it's the first time you open one so when you reboot. We'll see. Okay, here we have FreeCAD. Um, I'm not going to lie. I don't know anything about this program. But it just turned to a black screen. Okay, I would say... It's glitchy. That's that's what I'm going to say. I mean, you see this? I don't know what's going on, but I don't call this usable. All right. Well, there, there's FreeCAD. I'm going to give it a... See that? That's a thumbs down. Because you can't even move the mouse without the whole thing glitching out. All right. Sometimes this happens on this with Linux apps. So, if you need FreeCAD, my advice is don't use Chrome OS Flex, at least not right now. I can check this in the future after some more updates and see if they got it working better. But as of right now, FreeCAD and Chrome OS Flex is a no-go. But this channel is a yes-go. So like the video and subscribe. Thanks for watching. And if there's anything else you guys want me to test on this, let me know and I'll do it. Until next time, have a good day. Bye now.